So, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Thank you so much, Pastor Yusuf. Um, it's an honor uh, to be here before I start. Um, it's an honor to be here. I'd like to thank uh, Pastor Joel and Pastor Daniel for giving me this opportunity. And before I start, I just want a special mention to two very um, special people in the crowd. My parents are here. Yeah, so they over there. You can see, wait, okay, wait. <laughs> so yeah, you can see them. Yeah, they're there. Thank you so much for coming and sending me here. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, um, I'll be doing two songs today with you. Um, these songs are originals, uh, instrumental and words as well. A bit fast, huh? The rapper. I don't know why we're this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, words we're gonna scream and before, yeah, let's not waste any time. Come on, let's kick it. Which is like, I'm so sorry, guys. So I've been rapping for a decade, and have you guys heard of spoken word? 
Have you guys heard of spoken word? Okay. How many of you heard of spoken word? Like, raise your hands. Okay, cool. So, apart from Rabbi, so now I'm venturing into spoken word. So, if you've not heard of spoken word, or if you've heard of spoken word, then this is spoken word. Okay? So, yeah, so as we get this mic up, right there. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, let's hit it. <laughs> Now I know we're not living in the stone age, but will you stone me or throw me off an edge if I told you that God is love? Now I see a lot of people's ears perked up and eyes staring at me after those three words left my mouth. Simple yet profound. To fully understand this statement, I'm going ahead to define love first. Because regardless of whatever beliefs you might or might not have of God, the need to feel loved is a primary human emotional need, which means that everyone can feel loved. Now if you to whip out your phones and ask Google, it can be easily resolved that love is an intense feeling of deep affection, a personal thing that one loves, that one admires, and idolizes. Okay, this is interesting because to idolize means to admire, to revere, to love greatly or excessively, which is synonymous to adore, stand in awe of and exalt. Which then beckons the question to who or what then is an idol? You see, an idol is an image or representation of a god used as an object of worship. An icon figure, statue, false god, golden calf. And right up to now, I've only proved that there is a direct correlation between the object of your affection becoming your god and how you can love a god. But for God to be love, he needs to number one, exist, live, breathe, be present, and manifest himself as love. He needs to be able to take on the nature of love and prove to us his love. And humanly speaking, that is only possible if he physically demonstrates his love in the form of love that we can understand. And the perfect form of love that we can understand is that of sacrifice. And if that's the case, the question will then have to be altered to how does God love? God helps those who cannot help themselves. When we were still weak, rebellious, and enemies of the Most High God, He chose to put His love on the line for us. In one historical, unprecedented act of love, He offered His one and only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, to die. And I mean to literally lay down His life on, at that time, the most torturous of all torture instruments, a Roman cross. Whipped and bruised with flesh exposed and blood dripping down his toes, he still chose us. And he choosing us had nothing to do with what we had done or didn't do or in this case couldn't do. He chose us and chose to die for us because it was his way of showing us that he loves us. Jesus Christ died for us so that we can once again have full access to God the Father through his blood. And all we gotta do to receive this access is to welcome him by saying, Jesus is my master. Believe that God raised him up from the dead. And that is salvation. That is how God loves. God is love. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.